Well, so this afternoon, the new patriotic party in the Greater Accra region and its chairman is insisting that the constituency elections at Domi Kwabinya will be conducted in spite of the absence of MP for the area, Sarah Aja Safo. The party will, in the next 24 hours, conduct constituency elections, but even before that happens, there is tension in the Domi Kwabinya constituency as some aspirants are raising concerns about the electoral process. First off, my colleague Samuel Mbura was at the constituency. He joins us via Zoom right now with details of his findings there. Uh, so Mbura, we understand that you spoke to some aspirants and uh, what are their concerns generally heading into the polls in the next 24 hours? Uh, Sami, if you can hear me, I'm asking, uh, first of all, you'd have to unmute, but I, I want to know the concerns of the aspirants, particularly within the Dome Kobinya area, as to what their concerns are going into the elections in the next 24 hours. Right, so they are raising concerns of an attempt to uh, sideline uh, aspirants who are reported to be uh, connected to the current MP, Madame Ajua Safo. Uh, they say uh, the processes so far has not been transparent, dating it to the polling station elections and to the um, zona or the coordinating or the coordinators elections. They are raising or alleging that um, there was an agreement at the constituency level where they agreed that the existing 199 old uh, uh, coordinators or polling station executives should go on a poll, they should be acclimated. While the additional 157, uh, there will be a contest, but this did not see the light of the day. They are claiming that um, aspirants uh, that are connected to Madame Ajua Safo were actually expunged from that particular uh, list. And this, they say, if not addressed, will not uh, give a, a fair and a, a credible elections within the MPP. So, uh, they have actually taken the case to court. Uh, there is uh, one um, of the constituents by name Edward uh, Sapon Enchi. He is he sent the case to the Adventa High Court, seeking the court to quash uh, all um, I mean elections and also um, I mean the uh, region or uh, the zona or the coordinators elections and put an injunction on the upcoming constituency election. However, the court struck out the case, uh, yeah. indicating that. They have not exhausted the internal uh, measures in dealing with conflict within the party. So right. according to them, it was referred to the ADR. I want us to listen to some of the aspirants who spoke to us, raising concerns about the alleged maltreatment or unfair treatment meted out to uh, proponents of Ajua Safo in the constituency. Mm. When we, when we went through the album, when it was brought, we realized there were so many infractions. The names we brought that has been fixed in the album were taken out. The old executives that were supposed to be maintained in the album were about 300 of them were taken out. As we speak, we have the names and then we have the polling stations that those people were supposed to have been. They were all taken out. All right, so what is your suspicion? Um, do you think that if you go with the current register, some of you will be, I mean, uh, you'll be disenfranchised or is the case that it will affect your, your fortunes? In fact, uh, as we speak, the album we have currently, it is not fit for, uh, for purpose. As I speak, as I speak, I can show evidence here of balloon gates, Kwabena balloon gate, 10 executives who are old executives of Adjusafu's church. That's, uh, the the, the haters of a church have all been taken out and replaced with new people. It's evident, it's here. Those people perceived to vote for us have been taken away from the album. So, uh, in fact, in fact, we it, all blames must go to the committee. And if you have to blame somebody, it should be the chairman, the committee chairman. According to him, it was not deliberate. But we've been able to push and push and push. We trust, we trust leadership. We trust regional executive committee, we trust national executive committee, and know our party will deal with the rule of law. In fact, most our concerns are always heard. That's the, the hope we have now. That our concerns will be heard. Yes. And, and finally, finally, you know, Domi Kwabenya is always in the news. It's not as if there are dissidents in Domi Kwabenya. That's not a reason. In fact, our image is sometimes painted wrongly outside. We beg of you that Domi Kwabenya is peaceful. Everybody is fine. But we want the right things to be done especially to achieve fairness.
Also, the NPP Greater Accra Regional uh, Chairperson, uh, Divine Agomi, insists that the constituency elections at Dome Kwabinya will be conducted in spite of the absence of Sarah Joasafo. I just told you a while ago that in determining the dates for the elections, the input or the interest of the Member of Parliament to us is major. We, 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 we try to engage them to understand or to get from them the day that will also sue them, we try to consider all this. So you are not here. So we take a decision, okay, we are going to go this way. Then you come tomorrow, you say, oh, you would have wished it's like this or not. You see, you are creating problems for us. Your people would be expecting that you represent them. It's a political party that put you in parliament. Is that not it? Mm -hmm. You're on our ticket. So we expect that you would be playing your role in managing the party also in the constituency as a member of parliament that they voted for you. I hope you understand. And you are not there. So who will be doing this work? So will you proceed to conduct the election without the president? Basically, that is what we are going to do. What else can we do? To be waiting for her that we don't know when she's coming back? I mean, who is going to do that? So... There are other issues that we are also considering, but for now, we will be doing the constituency elections to elect uh, leaders to manage the affairs of the party in the constituency. Other issues will be considered later. Well, so we do know that Sarah Jasafo's uh, aide has been responding to the claims, in indicating as well that uh, there is an agenda within the NPP against the Member of Parliament. Listen. And for us, all that we are asking for is for the right things to be done. We all have agreed that this is the way we are going to put together the album. What we are asking is for that to be respected and for the right things to be done. But it looks like there seems to be a certain agenda against the Honourable Member of Parliament. From where? Um, it looks like it is a party thing because it will interest you to know that since these issues started, we have made several calls. Call any, every person related to you know this issue in the party as far as the elections is concerned nobody is willing and ready to listen to us and what we have to say it is as if their minds are made up that we want to get rid of Ajua Safo. is your boss coming for the elections if it will be conducted the elections is um, i don't know but uh, my colleague just informed me that they have been told that the elections is this weekend even as I yesterday or the day before, we didn't know when the elections, elections was going to be conducted. Only to be told this morning that the elections is going to be done on Sunday. Those going for the elections, the album was given to them just yesterday. Sometime around 3 p.m. or so, if I'm not mistaken. So you ask yourself, that what is it that a party wants to achieve on the path they have chosen to tread as far as this election in Dome Kwabinya is concerned? Well, so uh, what you um, are seeing now are concerns uh, from the NPP grassroots, particularly within the Dome Kwabinya area. And we do know that uh, the camp of the Member of Parliament uh, is also not happy about how the party is insisting that they will continue with the electoral activities there within the next uh, 24 hours. Uh, definitely, we'll be monitoring all of those developments for you here on Joy News, which is definitely going to be bringing you some uh, coverage on that. But let's get exactly what the situation is and whether or not uh, the NPP will still go ahead with the activities as planned tomorrow. Joining us in studio now is uh, the Domi Kwabinya Constituency Secretary, uh, who is um, Teofilos uh, Labi, who's joining us right here in the studio. Thank you, sir, and uh, welcome to the much. polls. Thank you. Um, it appears that your constituency is uh, coming under uh, the spotlight, particularly yes. for, for, for the for wrong reasons. reasons yes. Yeah, yeah precisely. Reasons. And how do you feel about the developments within your area? Basically, it's not something that 
everyone will be happy with, especially when you are a leader in the constituency, basically. But as leaders, we are trying our best to make sure we mitigate everything that is going on so that it doesn't affect the party negatively. Give us a, a sense of how the nomination process was done within the Domi Kovinya area. Was it fair? Um, because the concern out there is that uh, you have a certain agenda. And just as we've heard from the aid of the me Member of Parliament, uh, it appears that there is an agenda, as he's claiming, mm -hmm. against persons who are aligned with the MP. Um, that is the main reason why I'm here today. Right. To just set up that notion that there's a problem of people maligning people who are aligned to the MP. That is not the case. It is always normal for aspirants who are looking forward to contest a subsequent elections that a committee putting in place the outcome doesn't meet their expectation. Typical of it is during the 2020 elections. Before the elections, you realize the Electoral Commission wanted to compile a new voters album and the opposition party led by their presidential candidate did not agree to it just because they thought it would not go to their expectations. So it is always normal. This particular exercise, a committee was put in place with rules and regulations to be adhered to. So as an aspirant, you, you don't go and think the committee mm -hmm. will work to your aspiration. And if that doesn't go to your expectation, you think it is not fair. For, for instance, let's talk about the positions that are open within your party at the constituency level. Mm -hmm. How many portfolios did you open nominations Ten. for? Ten. Ten portfolios. That's right. Uh, how but many persons were disqualified from partaking in the elections? Basically, if you talk of the constituency elections, no one has been disqualified. If you go to the polling stations, we are not talking of disqualification here initially. What it is is that the party has certain standards that one has to meet per our constitution before you be able to even vote internally or contest internally, mm. okay? And, and a committee will be put in place to make sure the open nominations, closed nominations, take files, vet the forms before a contest is going, goes on. Mm. But basically, a contest will only go on when there are, elections will go on when are, there is contest, okay. basically. Mm. So if there are two people vying for a position and that, the other doesn't meet the standards the party has set, mm. then basically the other will be acclaimed. Mm. This is a, an internal party issue, which is in court mm. anyway, so I wouldn't elaborate further. But as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. police station elections and acclamation has been done with, coordinators elections and acclamation has been done with, and we are going into constituency elections as we speak. Some say that is where we're likely to experience uh, more legal tassels of, over, over the process itself. Are you convinced that this will be happening, and I mean the constituency level elections, no. will be happening in the next 24 hours? In the best, are you not it's not, are you it's not, not going to be in the next 24 that, what, hours. Or, the or election whatever. is going to be held on the 1st of May. Right. Good. You will uh, go ahead on the 1st of May. That, that's that the, is exactly what the chairman of, uh, of the region right. said. Mm. Um, what it is is that in the wisdom of the party hierarchy, they knew that definitely some people will not be happy with the process because it will not go to their aspiration. Mm -hmm. So they've put in, in place mechanism right. to mitigate all these um, mm -hmm. differences. Exactly. And they have a committee in place that if, you, if you're not happy with, you report to them and they'll take care of your, um, the situation which you're not happy with. Mm -hmm. So that has been done and we expect everyone who is not happy to go through the internal uh, conflict resolution mechanism mm. before you even go to court. Right. The, the fear is that you, the leadership of uh, the NPP in the Domi Kovinya constituency, uh, you're not uniting your front as a political party, and that could come at a cost in the next general that, election. That is not the um, case. This, there's, there's clearly disunity no, within, is within the party. No, no, what is there? it? That it is a season. This time it's the NPP. There is a season for every political party to go through what we are going through now. It is it. When we are done with, 
we find ways of coming back together. It has happened every year and it is normal. This is the first time MPP is going to court, even in Dome Kwabenya, mm. it has happened in other constituencies like Ablekuma West, and they have always won the elections. Mm. Every year you have a candidate going to court and it is normal. Uh, and we win the elections. Mm. It will be the turn of the other political parties. Mm. And they also go through it. As journalists, you know it. It's, it's normal. It is the time for it. So you As I cite the example, mm. Mm. when Electoral Commission wanted to compile an album for 2020 elections, you had political parties who were not happy with it. Mm. So it is normal. But this is about the NPP, and, and that's why it stares you in the face as the General Secretary mm. for the NPP in that part <laughs> of the country. The, the concern is you, and by extension your other leaders, you are failed, basically. We haven't. It, I said... It is not when you are going into elections of this nature, you definitely get aggrieved people, mm. especially when they look at the trend and they are not getting their needs and expectations met. And mind you, the party doesn't work to the expectation mm -hmm. or aspiration of individuals. Mm -hmm. We have rules and regulations and constitutional guidelines to follow. And we'll still try and come together after the elections. Okay. MPP hasn't gone through elections for the first time. There has been several elections in MPP, and they'll continue to be... Some, 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 some say you have a long way to go, particularly looking at what's happening to your MP, for instance, Sarah Jasafu. When was the last time you heard from her? It's been a while. It's been a while, since January. So if that's the case, obviously... You don't have oversight even over your MP. We understand that she may be running again. That's something uh, that, that we are all on the lookout for, looking at how well, that, that well, may disrupt leaders, or ruffle the, the, the As the leaders of, of the, the party in the constituency, yes. what we should be worried about is the constituents. Are we satisfying them for what they voted for? So if the MP is not there, the constituency shouldn't come to a halt. Mm. We should make sure that the developmental projects they are craving for should be gotten in the constituency. The belief is all of this is happening because of their absence. No, a lot is happening in the constituency. Mm. Trust me. Uh, if you talk, Dominic Convention is the largest constituency in the country. Right. Look at the number of registered voters we have, mm. and we have very poor roads, and we've mentioned it to the government. And if you come to the constituency now, a lot of road network being touched, mm. and it continues. We are having our fair share of the year of roads. Mm -hmm. You have the largest police accommodation in the constituency, mm -hmm. which is about 80, 85% completed. And a lot of, if you look at the Ga East Municipal Hospital, it's a big health facility there. Mm -hmm. So we are getting what we deserve and we'll continue to push with or without. Obviously, to you, you're saying this because you belong to the NPP. That's but right. we, we, we don't expect that you say anything That's right. That's else. Right. But, but the point is... And I can only belong to the NPP. Uh, yeah, but the point is your MP mm -hmm is also derailing that, that effort. Uh, the, the, she, she's not been in parliament for quite some time, and That's I'm sure fine. that you've been monitoring what's happening in Basically, parliament. Basically, yes. She is at the verge of leaving parliament, as some experts term it. The fact that she's been hauled before the Privileges Committee. All of these developments should trouble you as a party then. Yes, basically, but it should, it sh she should be more worried than I am. What I'm saying is that I put myself forward as a constituency secretary. They mm -hmm. voted for me. I'm doing my bet. Other uh, executives are doing their bet. What we are saying is that the effect that is having on the constituency now, I don't know, I can't say, it right. is minimal. Fine, go to the party. Absence is not that's, having that's what I say, because we are being heard right. by the government, the central right. government, because right. the development that we need in the constituency is being taken care of. So if the MP doesn't go to Parliament, mm -hmm. it's another game if, altogether. If she, leaves, if, if she leaves Parliament, that will definitely mean a by-election. Are you ready? Do you Dominic feel Abenya you'll be able to retain that the stronghold seat? of MPP, and I tell you, we're going to do everything in the books to make sure we retain that seat. Some say you may not survive the next elections in terms of the parliamentary seat. No, we will. And we'll even do with greater margin. What we're saying is by the fault of mm -hmm. others, wise men correct their own. We know what we're going through, bringing about the hand parliament. Mm. So we know what we have um, done in terms of survey and research, and we'll correct our wrongs. Uh, we're talking about the constituency level primaries. You are a general secretary, uh, a, a, the constituency, constituency secretary. secretary yes. Are you running for office again? Yes, I am. I am running. What are your chances there? Oh, uh, I'm not going to say anything here, but I'm winning. How do you know that for sure? I'm winning. This, my, this is my third term. Mm. I've been two-term constituency secretary. Mm. And I know what I've been doing for the people. 
they have that trust and faith in me. Well, the rumor out there is that you're not in good terms with the member of parliament, uh, and that, that may be the situation, general situation across the rank and file of the party. Some of your executives equally don't get in touch with the MP. Um, what's, your, what's the relationship like between yourself and, and then the member of parliament? A very good working relationship. Mm. Um, I wouldn't say the MP is my friend, basically. We, we have a, a working relationship. As far as I'm concerned, you don't need to be a friend with someone to work with the person. Mm. For the sake of the party, we're working together. I'm not fighting the MP in any term. She's a member of parliament. I'm the constituency secretary. We have two separate portfolios. Mm. So I don't know why someone would say that we are not in good terms. We are in good working mm. relationship. Some are also blaming you for your failure to crack the whip on Ajwa for The fact that we don't have you mm -hmm. taking steps at the constituency level, at least to sanction her within the political party. You're the general secretary. You what, have that power. At what least. happens, I, I have party hierarchies right. up there. I have the general secretary. I have the regional secretary before myself, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. What happens to Ajo Safu doesn't lie in my mouth. The parliamentary um, leadership, leadership right. have taken the right decision, I would say, mm -hmm. by um, referring her to the privileges committee. Right. That is one. What would I do again? My regional chairpersons are there. Um, my national chairpersons and general secretaries mm. are there. So there's not a lot I can do in terms of um, cracking the whip on the member of parliament. Okay, because we don't have all of the time, okay. from here, mm -hmm. the next point will be the parliamentary primaries. That's right. If you have the opportunity, <laughs> and obviously you'll be a delegate, mm -hmm. would you go for the right. MP. You know, votes She's are, running for office again. Votes are supposed to be secret, isn't it? But you can declare support for a candidate. You are, okay. you are a politician. You, you when we get well. to the bridge, we'll, we'll cross. Do you think uh, Sarah Joseph has, has lived to expectation, uh, particularly what you were on the, on the lookout for as delegates when you were endorsing no. her? Her absence has been a concern to everyone. Mm. So it's a concern to me as well. So if you voted to go to parliament to serve your people and you're not there, why should I sit on radio or TV and say you have lived my expectation she has over, for over months and colleague parliamentarians mm -hmm. are not happy with it and the party hierarchy are not happy with it. Why should I stand here and say it? it's, not, it's, it's normal? Right. You have one final opportunity and this will be the last mm -hmm. question to you uh, to resolve the challenges that you have. Are you going back door to call on all those who are grieved going to court over this? W what are you likely to do on that? Basically the doors have been open since. They chose to go to court instead of resorting to internal conflict resolution mechanism. We have always welcomed it. Mm. We have always asked them to go through the internal process and it will be resolved. So if they come, why? Why not welcome it? Because we say we want to build a stronger party. Mm. It is with them that will build a party. Mm. All hands on deck. So everyone in the party is important. Whether you hold a position or not. Mm -hmm. You are important to the party, so we all have to come together. So if you have a problem, mm -hmm. speak to the right channel. They, they've already gone ahead of you, and some of these people have gone to the regional leadership. Mm -hmm. you, you've seen that? I, uh, I am not privy to that. Mm. I'm not privy to that. Right. But, but you'll not be surprised if you hear some of these complaints at the national headquarters and then the regional uh, as, party as level. As far as I am concerned, my inquiries right. shows that has not happened. My inquiries indicate mm. that that has not happened. So, because we right. have a committee in place, mm -hmm. the ADL, yeah. led by Cecilia, Honorable Cecilia Ablan Dapa. Right. She's leading that. That's right. Okay. And no one from our constituency has been to her to resolve this issue. Mm. All these issues must be addressed to her. Well, give us clarity on that. So, what the NPP has done this time round mm -hmm. is that all those who have grievances and concerns about the process. Election. What, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to petition the ADL, mm -hmm. which is led by the Honorable Cecilia Abrandapa, mm -hmm. and uh, the, uh, the uh, expectations right. will be so met. Okay. And if it is not to your satisfaction, mm -hmm. then you have the right to go to court, probably. Mm -hmm. But we all expect that if it goes to her, all things will be resolved. So you're saying that did not happen at the polling station level and uh, the recent elections that, the that was up. Level, no. You didn't experience that? No. But how come these people are heading straight to court? And 
have you have you engaged them? I'm sure I, that their concerns I am, have, have come to you generally. I mean, uh, I am, before before heading to court, they may have I am not spoken going to, to you talk about their so concerns. so much about yes. this because it's in court. Yeah, but, they, but you're shying away from the, from the critical no, issue they went about to, engaging you on the. They concerns. went to court, right. two courts, mm -hmm. the Kwabena Circuit Court. Mm -hmm. And Adenta High Court, okay. and the case has been struck out out of Adenta High Court on, I think, Monday, mm. due to their failure to use the internal mechanism to resolve the issue. And I'm not going to talk ahead of the Kwabena Court because mm. they will be sitting uh, during the week, mm. so I, I don't want to go in there. But this one is done with so I'm saying it. But all I'm saying is that the doors are still open, mm. go through the internal mechanism for resolving um, conflict, mm. and it will be dealt with to everyone's satisfaction. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, this is your third time, right, running yes. for office, yes. which means that you're very much rooted in the NPP tradition. Exactly. Why is there so much acrimony this time around uh, for your primary? It excites me when, when you open for nomination and you have 4,000 people picking form to serve the party. 4,000. 4,000 in a constituency to serve the party at the polling station level. That tells you the enthusiasm at the grassroots mm. is very high. That is what excites me. Really? But if you open up nominations and you find people not getting attracted to mm. Mm. working for your party, then there is a question mark. Because beside all that is going on, you have people yearning so hard to occupy position of the party, to work hard for the party, to break in the eight, it excites me. You will break that eight, you think so? We have even broken the eight. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so <laughs> we don't have all of the time to Thank discuss you. all of that, That's but right. Teoflos, I'm grateful I'm that you've grateful. been able to spend I'm some time with too. us here on The Pulse. Right. We'll return shortly after this break. Please stay.